Alright, so I'm Dion from Evolution, and I'm here to uh, do a little EFT tapping on I Want Love. Heavily influenced by Sir Elton John's song I Want Love, uh, featuring Robert Downey Jr. in the um, film clip of that song. Um, and it's a beautiful song, it's a song about um, a man that has been terribly hurt and is wanting love um, on his own, own terms um, and Robert Downey Jr. is wandering around this very grand but very empty and vacant house um, professing what he wants for love. Now in our life when we experience love or have a yearning for love, uh, love can be sort of defined as a simple give and take of energy and having a lack of something um, whether in a relationship or wanting a relationship uh, can actually have a, a low value um, of self um, a, a, a feeling of need a, a yearn towards something more so if you're willing to explore that through EFT tapping um, let's do some tapping, taking full responsibility for your own well-being. I'll do um, the setup statement and then we'll go into a round of tapping. Just repeat after what I say. All right. Even though I want love, I yearn for love, and love seems to define me. I still love, forgive and accept myself even though I want love and I've been broken and bruised and I'm not sure how to give love or how to receive love I still love forgive and accept myself even though I want love, but it seems impossible. And there's a person like myself who just wants it on their own terms. I still love, forgive, and accept myself. I want love. I want love. I deserve love. I am worthy of love. And I've been seeking love. And I've been wanting it really bad. And I may have been looking for love in all the wrong places. And just coming up empty. There might be a great emptiness inside of me. And I might be wandering around in this emptiness. All alone on the inside. Even if I'm surrounded by people on the outside. I want love. And there's been times in my life where I've given love and I've had love thrown back in my face. All this precious love, all this vulnerability. And sometimes when I share this vulnerability, it sometimes gets received well. And sometimes doesn't. It's like my vulnerability is my value ability. My ability to be valued. My ability to be valued by others. 
and my ability to be valued by myself. And there's been times in my life when I've shared my value and people just don't see the worth in it. And I develop low worth from it. And then I feel like I don't deserve love. Because the love I've displayed has been reflected back to me as of low worth. This giving and receiving. My love is valuable. But I may have been giving it to the wrong people. Who don't value myself. Or value my worth. And we've all lessons. If I keep going to people that don't value my worth, it's kind of like giving all your money to a thief in the night and say, take good care of that. I'm sure they will. Maybe all my self-worth has been running on empty. All this giving and receiving is what I is what I am giving out what I'm receiving. All this giving and receiving. All this low self-worth. I've learnt along the way from bad financial advisors who have been advising me that I am not of value that I'm not of worth and there might be people in my life trying to add to that value but in my terms and conditions it clearly says that I am of low self-worth and that I do not deserve love. But I don't remember writing that in that terms and conditions. Maybe someone wrote it for me. Because if I'm wandering around in an empty house with no valuable possessions, I may have given the keys to my heart to a thief in the night and they left me with some poor values some poor belief systems so I'm going to clear these belief systems now I'm going to fill myself with self-worth I'm going to fill myself with self-love Fill the grand house of my body and of my mind with possessions that I care about because I care about me. 
Because what I want, if I want love, it's already there. I have the space and capacity for it. I just need to know how to furnish it. I need to know how to nurture it. So when the right person comes along, they can share in my heart. And they can share in the worth of my soul possessions. I'm clearing this fear. I'm clearing this fear that I am not enough. I'm clearing the shame. Clearing the shame that I am not enough. I'm clearing the guilt. I am clearing the guilt that I am not enough. I'm clearing the anger. Clearing the anger that I am not enough. And I'm clearing that resentment. I'm just full of someone else's resentment. And I'm making space now. And I'm going to fill my body. I'm going to fill my mind with positive belief systems. I am worthy of love. I can give and receive love. I am deserving of love. I'm a beautiful, compassionate person. I am worthy of love. What people see is a person full of light. And I am worthy and deserving of love. I'm turning the lights on in my home now. Letting everyone know. Everyone that wants to share in that light. and not steal from my heart that I'm here for love I want love I'm worthy of love I'm deserving of love Now I'm free to express my love with those who are ready to give and take their love. Take a deep breath in. With giving and receiving of love, um, we can't always hope for a balance, but I think uh, uh, an equal give, an equal take, an exchange of energy um, gives, if we have an equalness of something, we have a harmony of something. When there is a low um, point in the giving or the taking, we have a sense of lack um, or a sense of wanting, yearning. So if, something, if, if that's something that resonates with you and you'd like to explore it further, then definitely book in with a session. I offer EFT tapping and soma breath through my online business called Eflution. So um, if you're wanting love, I think that you already have it. It's just tuning into where we uh, might be lacking those aspects in ourselves of self-love. So I'm Dion from Eflution and I'll see you in the next one.